there's I mean, they, they're not some of a bit of purple prose there. They talk about an unparalleled pageant of international perjury, fraud, and conspiracy. So they think he was a member of Robin. And will he be able to pay? Because he's also facing other court cases, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's got several other court cases. There's another court case from this same uh, insurance promotions company that he's facing in a district court down in Texas. And he's also facing some action from a former teammate and also the uh, United Postal Service, UPS, are seeking to get some money off him too. So there's a lot of people after Lance Armstrong in the courts at the moment and uh, uh, he, he's not showing any indication of wanting to pay this 10 million and, uh, and he may, uh, may not want to pay the other stuff either, but this will be in the courts for some time, yeah. Gary O'Donoghue in Washington. Let me bring you our main world news. Once again, talks between Greece and its Eurozone creditors have broken up in Acre. Though there was uh, some talk of possible flexibility in a deal. Tens of thousands of Danes have joined a vigil to commemorate the two victims of the attacks in Copenhagen. And in the past few minutes, Washington has said it's closely monitoring reports of a new column of Russian military equipment moving towards the contested town of Dvalsna in eastern Ukraine. The State Department said it was concerned by the deteriorating situation in the town. That is it for now from the newsroom. A richer world from the BBC World Service. Chance discoveries. Grains of silica melted and fused under an intense heat that must have been at least 1,000 degrees. Surprising connections. The light bulb was the kind of innovation that comes together over decades. Brilliant mistakes. He had invented the first sound recording device in history, but he forgot to include playback. The amazing stories of the things we take for granted. Ideas are fundamentally networks of other ideas. Each day this week, science writer Stephen Johnson reads from his latest book, which examines everyday objects and how they shape the modern world. Next, the story of artificial coal. By the early 1920s, bird science developed a flash freezing process. How we got to now on the BBC World Service continues Tuesday at 14.30 GMT.